this documentary is well made. It was well put together. But I'm just saying the information that was in here, because I know Diddy's involved, we're not going to get all the fucking details and the facts. Alright y'all, so I just got done watching the Netflix documentary on my man B.I.G., the notorious one, Biggie Smalls, I got a story to tell, and this documentary was cool, but nothing special, I, I'm, a, I'm a Biggie Smalls fan, alright, I'm, I'm a huge big fan, I grew up in New York, I was there, you know what I'm saying, when I first heard uh, Juicy, I was in summer school, ninth grade, that's the first time I heard of Big, before then, you know, we had Wu-Tang and uh, Redman, EPD, EPMD and all of them. We had this new wave of hip-hop coming that was surpassing the Eric B and Rakims and all of them. We had this new wave coming, and then here comes Big with Juicy, then Big Papa. And I'm like, who is this guy? Everybody had to have that CD, you know what I mean? If you didn't have that CD, then you was just a fucking dork, all right? Everybody, well, back then it was cassette tapes. You know, only the big ballers had the CD, all right? Growing up in the neighborhood, you know, it was mostly cassette tapes at that time. But Ready to Die was like a fucking classic immediately so big. That's my man, you know what I mean? And this documentary was just like every other documentary I've ever seen on Big. You know, it is what it is. I've seen several docs on him. I read his biography. I saw the movie Notorious, which was, eh, besides the scene of um, your girl from Power fucking him, you know what I'm saying, when titties was all over the place. Other than that, the movie was, eh, and I didn't too much care for it. But um, I'm watching the documentary. I'm like, okay, you know, this is cool so far. But the moment I saw Diddy, that's when I'm like, all right, so this is not going to be a legit Biggie story. This is going to be a censored Biggie story with information that comes out that only Diddy allowed. Now, I don't mean to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I feel like Diddy, either he has something to do with what happened to Big or he knows about what happened to Big. Because just hear me out, y'all. It's just funny how Big was about to make some power moves. He was he was about to do what Jay-Z did. He was about to have his own label, his own brand, um, clothing line, everything. Like what Jay, would, what Jay did never happened. Got cut short of that. And then it's so funny that after he died, Diddy blew the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I Look, I have no evidence. I have, I have no facts on that. I'm just going off of gut feeling. I wasn't there. But a matter of fact, I watched um, Hip Hop Uncensored did an interview with Gene Deal, who is the former bodyguard of Puff and Big. And he was going into detail about what happened, how Big was getting ready to leave. Show him the paperwork and everything, the contract, you know, I'm, I'm out of here. And even went to the origin on how Diddy got his name, which I don't want to spoil. I want y'all to watch this interview. So I got more out of that little interview than I did in this documentary because this documentary shows the life of Christopher Wallace and how he came up and his Jamaican roots. And it, it was all cool to see. As a matter of fact, it did feel kind of personal because you got to see the whole movie footage that D-Rock was filming. So it did feel a little personal. It feels like you got to see more of Christopher Wallace, the person, as opposed to the to Notorious B.I.G. So I did appreciate that. So this documentary is well made. It was well put together. But I'm just saying the information that was in here, because I know Diddy's involved, we're not going to get all the fucking details and the facts. And I feel there's so much more to this fucking murder than what we're getting. You know what I mean? I would feel more fulfilled if we got a documentary talking about what happened, you know, arrest being made, finally get down to the bottom of it, give closure to what happened to this brother. Because they're, they're, with him and Pac, you know what I'm saying? With him and Pac, there was no arrest made, nothing. You know, there's so many theories out there what happened at the end of the day. None of us really know for sure. We don't. But just gut feeling... I just have a feeling Diddy got something to do with it. Now, I've said this in other videos, like I respect Diddy as a businessman. I respect his drive and his hustle. But at the same time, I know this brother didn't get to where he was by being a squeaky clean, nice guy. I'm pretty sure some people got stepped over, fucked over, and murdered. Possibly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, the music business is a cutthroat business. I would never have nothing to do with it. Good thing I can't sing or dance or rap none of that shit. Because I want nothing to do with that. And unfortunately for Big, he got his life got cut short at 24 years old. Left behind two kids, you know, um, a grieving mom. And I, I did like the, the parts with uh, Mrs. Wallace when she was on there. You know, giving her stories and her memories of, of Big. So that was cool to see also. But I don't trust Diddy. I don't. I, I don't trust him at all. So I feel like we got a watered down, diluted, 
documentary that just gave us, you know, the good times and the nostalgia and, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like we didn't get any real factual shit on the man Christopher Wallace B.I.G. That's just my personal opinion. But if, if you're a fan of Big, I think you will appreciate it. If you don't know much about him, I think you might learn a thing or two about him. But like for me that have followed his, you know, his career and I don't want to call myself a historian, but I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I read the book. I've seen the documentaries. I, I've seen a lot of interviews on people talking about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of Big. And I just didn't get any... I didn't really get anything out of this documentary. It was nothing really special besides nostalgia. And it was cool seeing Big again because he's been gone for, what, 20, 20 plus years. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I'm going to give this documentary a B plus. It was straight, but... Eh, no, nothing, nothing that I'm going to say like, oh my God, this documentary blew me away. Nah, like I said, I got more out of that interview with Gene Deal talking about, you know, uh, Big and, and Puff's uh, history than I did in this documentary. So that's all I got, y'all. That, 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 that's it and that's all. So what did you guys think about the documentary? Have you seen it? Comment freely below. Let me know what you thought. Um, if you like and dig this content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. Thank you all for watching. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.